Are you dead? No. But you're gonna be dead. <laughs> Die. Warning. Even if based on proven medical knowledge from 1918, vampires sometimes take liberties when establishing possible links between scientific theories and supernatural creatures for theatrical purposes. In other words, do not try to cure any disease with any of the recipes shown in this video game, and no rats were harmed during the making of this game. Well, I'm glad they cleared that up, because I was going to try and cure all of my diseases. I'm riddled with them. Whew, thank you. That That's a load off my mind. Every action you take has consequences. Ooh, take responsibility. I'll try. <laughs> Ooh, okay. So, hello, everyone, and welcome to Vampire. Or Vampire? I, I don't know. But uh, it's, I, I believe it's from the makers of Life is Strange. I need to turn this down, it's very loud in my ears, this music. Um, yeah, it's from the makers of Life is Strange, so it's a consequence-based role-playing game where you have branching dialogue and stuff. You can choose who to kill or eat or suck. <laughs> I don't know, it should be pretty good, I'm excited. So, let's jump straight in. Twelve dreams for the Red Queen under Crown of Stone. Eight voracious beasts born from eight restless nights. Four nails piercing the flesh of the sinner. One prayer for the summoned called by this song. Tis perhaps the countdown to oblivion for the once proud city of London. Tis perchance her inhabitants last dance alone to face death and pestilence. Confronted by the eerie and unknown, mortals became desperate for answers. A flock's flight makes for an omen, the falling of a star, a dire presage. Turning to priests for interpretation when there was no reason to be found. When religion failed, men turned to science. I saw them build such vain cities, crafting machines made for endless war. New questions flourished as old answers withered. What is darkness? but lurking sun? What is wall, but enslaved stone? What is glass, but tortured sand? What is song, but a call to arms? What is hate, but jilted love? What is life, but death pending? Ooh, this is deep. I'm 14 and this is death. too deep for me. Since the apple was plucked from the sacred tree, mortality was believed to be God's punishment. A righteous snare to keep mankind from ascending to the stars. They were all so wrong. Death is not a wicked thing, nor some holy retribution. A true punishment would be to never know its sweet Okay. Awaken from the harshness and be born once more. I swear that body just moved. Am I mad? Might be mad. Ooh, it's me! Mr. Beardy Man! Mmm! Juicy! Hello? Hello? The music reminds me of the Sherlock Holmes movies. Dan, 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 dan. So black and white. Where's the color? Ooh. Ooh. It's running smoothly. Nice. Good start. It'll probably crash in a minute. So, as far as I know, this game takes place uh, in World War II? Maybe just before World War II? I'm not sure. Ooh. I see blood. Mm, I'm so thirsty. Who's whispering? Hello? Who 
goes there? I see you. Do I have to eat you? Can I? Thirsty. So thirsty. Yes. Give in to your cravings. Hello? I can talk to you. Can I eat you? What? She knows me? Hi! Is that my girlfriend? Can I just eat my girlfriend? Ah, uh, I'm sorry, Mary. Whatever your name is. My sweet brother. What have you done? Mary! <laughs> what? No. Her name's Mary? Mary! Hold on! Please, hold on! Oh god. Oh no. Well then, oops. Mary. Mary. No. 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 Can't believe I got her name. <laughs> Oopsie Daisy. Whoa, Jesus, he tore half of her neck off. It's horror. It's a nightmare. Yeah, it is. Uh oh. No! Please, a moment, let me explain. Ah! Ah! My second favorite arm! Uh-oh. Time for the obligatory chase sequence. Yeah. These patrols are after me. No, no, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I just this ate my sister. It's fine. Was she my sister? My wife? I don't know I what she is. I need to get out of here. Ah. Wait, can I climb that? Nope. Ah, fine. This can't be happening. Oh, it is, buddy boo. Suck it up and hey, hello. No, ah. Stop. I mean, you know. Oh. Where am I going? 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 Oh, God. So you can sprint. Right. Noted. What's going on? What's all this about? What's all this then? Is that a knife? Ooh. Hello. Now, I can defend myself. Hell yeah, I can. Kill the thing. Men beware. Who are you? Stand uh, back. No, 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 that's unfair. I don't have a gun. But you left me no choice. Can I take your gun? No. Fine. Be like that. I didn't need a gun anyway. I'm a vampire. I don't need guns. I have my teeth. Who are you? Stupid beast! Hello. Ooh, I can dodge. <laughs> are you blocking? How do I block? No? Ah, God! No! Sorry. Please! I'm sorry. I mean, they're not trying to kill you, my friend. I mean, you don't have to feel that sorry. Ooh. This like, reminds me of uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Same era. Hello. Please mm. stop. And oh god, he's got a machine gun. Please, none of that. Bad. Ah. Uh oh. I mean you no harm. I I need help. Die, you fucking leech. That's convenient. Please, listen to me. I, I can't make any sense of this. Shut up, beast. Who are you? What is this all about? Ah, ah! What in God's sake! Oh, sunlight. Ah, ah, just, just leave me! 
Ooh. Ooh. Can't go in the sun. Of course not. Ouchies. The sun. It feels like it's burning me to the bone. Well, that's fun. Fun in the sun. Will always make me I run. need to find somewhere to hide. Can I actually hide in the shade? Let me go! No? I don't think this is working. Alrighty then. Uh, you love whoa. You've got a uh, big old gun. Okay. No. S no, please. Stop it. Down, boy. Yeah. I need to find shelter. Oh, alright. Yeah, the sun's coming up. That's a problem. That looks. <laughs> Keep out. Well, now, obviously, not going to listen to that. Is oh, anybody vampire. there? Rules don't apply to vampires, everyone knows that. That'll stop them. Place seems abandoned. I should be safe enough here. Nice. Looks a bit ranshackle. It's a bit broken down, isn't it? Sure looks nice. I had better remain here until nightfall. Hmm. Fire and sun. Leeches do not fear the sun or fire, and they do not burst into flames or ashes when they are caught under rays of daylight, but it hurts them good, really good. I have personally chained a vampire to a tree to see what would happen when the sun rises. Its skin blackened in a few minutes, as if it was burning from the inside. Its eyes and flesh melted, and I saw its unholy bones move and squeal as the beast tried to escape all day long. In the end, only a desiccated corpse remained, which started to slowly regenerate when the sun disappeared behind the horizon. I cut its head off to finally destroy it, and when I tried the same test with fire, the bloody leech never came back from the ashes. Fire is our weapon of choice, brothers. To burn the beast is the best way to kill it for good. From Know Your Enemies. Pre Prywin Prewin leader. Are they like vampire hunters then? They they seem to know a lot about us. Well okay, that's disconcerting dis disconcerting that they know about us. Cool. Hmm. So I think this game runs on Unreal Engine, and it looks and runs very well. Brother... What have you done? Mary! So she was my sister. Mary! Mary... I'm sorry. Whoever did this to us... I will find them. I will find you. I will kill you. I have a certain set of vampire skills. Oh, hello. Ooh, you've seen better days, ma'am. What's with her teeth? Is she a vampire? What? This one's dressed up fancy. Let's run through his pockets. Pick in the dead's pockets? Are you serious? I've still a rent to pay. He's got no more responsibilities. What's this? Go watch. Beautiful it is. We fancy it and share the takings. <laughs> I suppose we are undertakers. <laughs> now, <give me laughs> Funny man. It's impossible. What, the fact that I was dead? Get over it, my friend. You're a vampire. You are undead. Cool. So, yeah, a good, a big part of this game is that you can choose who to kill, and it affects the outcome of the game and changes things, apparently. 
I'm not quite sure. I haven't done much research into it. Ooh, do I have a reflection? I do? Vampires have reflections? Ha! Huh. I've been lied to! Who's there? Are you referring to me? <laughs> My neck! No! No! I still have so much to accomplish! Um... Okay. I still have so much left that needs doing. You're being killed and you scream out, No! I have so much left to accomplish! <laughs> right. Fair enough. Oh, hello. Nice house you have had. Ooh. Drugs. Just what I need in this time of need. Do I get a gun? Ooh. I didn't think I would actually get a gun. That's cool. Johnny, this one's lost. We need to leave. And now! No. There's time. I can save him. That's the enemy coming! The orders are to evacuate the hospital! <sighs> Done. He'll live. He? And now what? We fight. Killing is a hell of a lot easier than healing. I could have sworn that was a woman. But I guess it makes sense. That was the war. No, it never got easy. So, yeah, as far as I know, you were a doctor or a combat medic in World War II? Maybe World War One. I'm not quite sure. So, your character is, um... Pretty nifty in war and medicine. Ooh, that's long. Bloody diary. Bad sleep. Becky coughed all night and the fever made her delirious. I heard a loud noise in the morning. It's a big machine some men brought by the banks to dig a big hole in the ground. It was some sort of mechanical shovel. Maybe I could go there and ask for some work. Becky needs medicine. I talked to the men with the mechanical shovel. They told me they are digging mass graves all around London. Safety measures, apparently. Is there a new epidemic? Is the flu coming back? They had no work for me. Becky slept a little last night. The foundry has been closed and there are no more jobs nearby. I went to London to find some groceries and drugs. No trains. It took me the whole day to cross the Thames and come back. Becky seemed better. I made a soup she ate. I found no drugs, only a few syringes and some sleeping pills on the black market. We have no money left. Maybe I could go to the Pembroke Hospital tomorrow. But it's so far, and I fear leaving my wife for so long. Becky threw up the meal a few hours after she ate it. She's so frail now it makes me cry. She says she hears voices outside all night. She says she wants to eat meat. Where would I find meat? Tomorrow, I'll barricade the house to protect us from looters. The men with the mechanical shovel have stopped digging the mass grave. I heard shouts last night, as if they were attacked. Now there are only a few boats throwing bodies day and night into the giant hole. The smell is terrible. We should have left this house a week ago, but Becky... She refuses to leave. She'd rather die, she said, with a nasty smile. Why is she torturing me so? <laughs> Becky just attacked me. She jumped on me from the stairs and tried to bite me. I had to smack her, but she smacked me back. I went upstairs and locked myself in the bedroom. Now I can hear her crying and mumbling downstairs. I retrieved the gun, hitting the ceiling since the wall to protect the house. Now I'm ready to use it to protect myself from my own wife. I could not sleep at all. Becky spent the whole night scratching at the door, asking for my help, begging me to let her in. But I was too afraid to open it. I'm just waiting for her to die now. 
It would not be long. I pray God it will end soon. I was so hungry I tried to go downstairs this morning. Becky was sitting in the armchair by the chimney. She was panting like a dog, looking at me without moving, just following me around the room with her eyes. I pointed the gun at her sore face, but she did not react. I could not pull the trigger. I went back to my room. The house is silent like a tomb. No more noises. Becky is dead now. Forgive me, my love. I was unable to save you. I'll be with you. Soon enough. Woo! Well, that concludes the audio novel. Cool. So she became a vamp, and he killed... He let her, left her to die or starve and shot himself in the head. Nice! Wholesome family story. Can I sleep? Ooh. Well, he doesn't need his bed anymore. He's eternally sleeping now. This makes ah. no sense. None of it. No sense at all. No, it doesn't. It's a nightmare. That's it. <sighs> and it was all a dream. Credits roll. Oh dear. Rational thinking only. Huh. Oh. Can I choose not to? Okay then. I'm invincible. Ooh, his eyes. My heart, my broken heart, and my blood. This is absolute madness. I've lost touch with the real. Hideout beds allow you to evolve. Spend experience points. Ooh. Begin by selecting the available skill, Autophagy. The vampire uses the power of his blood to heal normal and aggravated damage, increasing his flesh, nerve, and bone regeneration. With time, this vampiric ability can be extremely powerful and is sure to surprise any unwary vampire hunter. We think of vampires as immortal, but if you can block their unnatural regenerative capabilities, they are more vulnerable than you think. Ew. Cool. So I can heal myself, basically. Don't mind if I do. You have enough XP to unlock an aggressive skill. Choose one to unlock. Claws. Blood Spear. Shadow Mist. Hmm. The vampire wields their blood and throws it like a spear. This power can take time to charge, but is deadly effective at medium to long range. It's a powerful supernatural tool for vampires who don't like close combat. If you cannot avoid the bloodsucker's attack, just try to keep your mouth closed. What? Okay, well, I'm going for this, because throwing a spear made of blood sounds awesome. <laughs> Hell yeah. And there goes all my points. Ew. Confirm. Alrighty then. Spears of blood? Sign me up. 
That voice in my head. If I'm not mad, then it must belong to the one who made me what I am. I must find him to understand what I have become. Uh oh. That does sound good. No one's home! Where is it? Come back later! No, okay, I'm going These now. People want me dead. I need to leave now. Alrighty then. My parkour up there. Here's the leech. Here! Oh, I said it wouldn't hold him. I can teleport. Okay. Being a vampire is amazing. I want to be a vampire. I'd rather not. Thank you. Bye. Alright. I cannot enter. Gosh darn it. Can't I just knock it down or teleport through it? That's a vampire. A stake. Offhand weapons can be used. Nice. You look like a a lot of bandages. You look like a splicer from Bioshock. I'm still in Southwark. I must reach Over the West there. End. Uh, uh, no. Press Y to use your stake and inflict stun damage. Die, vermin! Ah. No! Press A to bite a stunned enemy. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Yummy. Tastes like chicken. Oh, strength. A strength I never knew I had. Ooh. Wonder if people do taste like chicken. Now that you have blood, press RB to unleash a vampire skill. Ooh! Wow, that did a lot of damage. Oop, nope, nope, I didn't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, right. right. Can I suck your neck? Thank you. Alrighty then. Mmm, so juicy, so tender. Okay. Every human, every human being is a fire. Literally, I am on fire. Ow. Oh, ooh, hello. Oh, you're big. Ooh. Okay, looks like I need to. No! Need to suck you, you have a lot of health. Okay. Ah, no, not my face. Anything but the face. Ooh, I'm out of stamina. Oof. Ah. Oh Jesus! My strength, my reflexes. I'm not human anymore. No shit! Wow, is it? It reminds me of Dark Souls. Well, uh, Bloodborne maybe. It's very. You have a stamina bar. You have to dodge and parry and stuff. It's pretty cool. I always like games set in London just because it's you know so close to home and. It's always cool to see how they rebuild it. Join the ranks! Your king and country need you! Join the British ranks and help the brave lads at the front! No! I'm a vampire! Oh, sister. If only I had controlled my need for blood. Mary, someone will pay for what happened to you. For what happened to us. Yeah, they will! Shillings! Ah! Whoa, I can eat rats? I have this thirst for blood. Okay. Did I give me health? I can't believe I'm doing this. Nope. Oh, wait, I can heal. Um. Uh. Oh, cool. I can heal. <laughs> Being a vampire is so cool. Can I jump across that? Yeah, I can. The dizziness from the jump. I can now control it. That was quick. You only done it twice. Well, can I sleep here? No, nope, but I'm gonna take this homeless person's money, apparently. <laughs> Not like they need it. <laughs> ah, I'm such a monster, literally. Oh god. 
This is pretty cool so far, though. I like the, um... Ooh, hello. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Limehouse Dock. I know that area. Another corpse. Have the very streets of London become a mausoleum? Yes. He's bloody. Juicy. Can I eat him? The man has been drained of all blood. Is he? But I can still smell the scent of it. Looks like there's a lot of it still. Whoa. I follow the scent's trail. Perhaps it will lead me to my assailant. Hmm. Toggle your vampiric senses. Fresh blood. Ew. The smell is so strong. Smells beautiful. Like rosemary and thyme. Um, wait, it went up there and then down here? Okay, right, there's more. There's blood everywhere. Ooh. Aluminium shards. Well, at least they went with the English spelling and not the American. Aluminum. Ooh. This is Ooh. a slaughterhouse. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is that money? It is money. Hello. Nice little handprint. Is there a dead child in here? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's locked, all right. Oh, God. This is cool. I like how it's very Sin City-esque. Where has everyone gone? That's a good point. It's very eerily quiet. I can teleport. Can I... A new hideout is available. Ah, uh, that's what these are. You just found a new hideout. Here you can spend your experience while resting or craft items. Nice. Refill. Alright. On a workbench, you can craft medical treatments, a heal sick citizens, serums, and weapon upgrades. Whoa. What? Ooh. Jesus, it reminds me of Destiny. This is a lot more in-depth than I thought it would be. There's weapon slots and... Ooh. That's a good point. I haven't... <laughs> okay. Big map. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. This is much more... Whoa. 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 Okay. Yeah, I didn't expect it to be this uh, complex. This is pretty cool. There's a lot of systems and mechanics going on here. All right. Um, I'm not going to rest yet because I only just rested. And I need to find my killer. So we shall move on. That light was very flickery. So it looks like it went in there. And that was glowing. Ew. Torn off page. For looking away when they mock my colour, I hate myself. For crying like a girl when they insult me, I hate myself. For swearing like a boy when they're gone, I hate myself. For hating my parents, I hate myself. For smiling when customers call me sad Brina, I hate myself. For never finding the courage to tell Tom how I truly feel, I hate myself. I think this person really likes themselves. You just discovered a hint. It reveals a secret about a citizen. Ah. As a vampire, you need human blood to evolve. The blood quality bar indicates the XP you will earn if you feed on this citizen. Whoa. Sabrina Cavendish. You have no blood quality, apparently. But I know she hides her true feelings. So that's cool. 
Hey, there you are. At last, a little life. Welcome, sir, to the turquoise turtle. Good day, sir. Your turquoise turtle looks pretty nice, actually. Hello. Oh, God, sir. You look like Jonah's whale just spat you out of hell. Can I get you a drink? No, thank you. I'm not... not thirsty. Well, oh, grab a chair and get some rest. This is going to be another long night. <laughs> Give me a pint of blood, mate. Cheers. Long night. Why is it going to be a long night? You must be new around here. Don't you know about the murders? Murders? Tell me more about these murders. Every morning for the last few weeks, bodies have been found. And those poor sods didn't die of flu. Vampires. Do the police have any leads on a suspect? Ah, even before the outbreak, coppers never came round here. We're on our own. People die in these parts all the time, and no one cares. <laughs> That's London for you. <laughs> uh, I like how they got authentic accents, though. All these English accents are cool. I'm looking for someone who might have passed through here recently. Wondered if you might help. It's been quiet tonight. The only other person I've seen went straight up to his room. <laughs> Thought it was kind of rude, actually. You mean he's still here? Well, yeah. He paid for the entire week. Ooh. I need to meet this man. I have questions. Just climb the stairs and knock on the first door. I heard him open his window, so I guess he's still awake. And, sir, uh, yes? no funny business, you hear me? This is a respectable establishment. All right, don't worry, I won't kill him. <laughs> so you heard him open his window, so I'm guessing he escaped. Are they stupid or something? I've never even been to India. <laughs> I love the accents. Are they stupid or something? Everybody fears the return of the sewer dog. The sewer dog? Who is the sewer dog? It's the local bogeyman. Convenient answer for every crime that happened for decades. You murdered someone. I blame the sewer dog, eh? I always blame the sewer dog. Who farted? It was the sewer dog. <laughs> that old dog. That's a phone. Yes. I am back from the phone call. We can all be monsters. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not me, I'm, I'm not a monster. <laughs> I'll leave you to your bottle then. Yeah, you really like your drink, don't you? <laughs> Dead, sir. First the epidemic, and now all these terrible murders. Murder, murder, murder. It's all about the murders around here, isn't it? The murders? What can you say about them? Bodies found in the streets every morning. Drained of blood. It's just horrible. I'm the barmaid here, Sabrina, if you want to know. I know all your secrets, Sabrina. You hate yourself. <laughs> oh, God. I just want to talk. I didn't mean to scare you. I'm not afraid, sir. It's just I've other customers to take care of. I only see one customer. Oh. Well, yeah, of course. I mean, I best check on them. And... All right, that's fishy. I'll leave then. Thank you. Yeah, Sabrina, you're mighty fishy. Don't like you. All right, we have to confront the man upstairs, apparently. Oh, God. My killer. This is no place for you. Prewen has several patrols roaming the area. They do not pursue me. But they're looking for vampires, and they're most efficient. They'll not relent until the killer has been identified. I have a common objective, but I require... Shh. I think someone is eavesdropping. Are you certain? Oh no, how does she know? You might as well come in, whoever you are. Slowly, vampire. <coughs> Who are you? <coughs> I mean you no harm. Say it's a vampire. Present yourself. I... I need a word. <sighs> <laughs> well, that's something I can do for you. Well, that was fun. 
So that's a thing in the game. Crosses. Cool. And who might you be? I don't know. You first. Tell me. Who are you? First, tell me what you want. Then I may tell you. That's none of your concern. Sir, you have entered my room in the middle of the night, pale as a corpse and shaking like a tree. Yeah! So please, indulge me. That is true. Something, someone, is molesting people. In fact, killing them. Biting them. The calling card of a vampire. Like you. <laughs> me! <laughs> I'm a victim too! I've been hunted down in the streets and attacked. I'm a victim here too. I... I believe you. Then if you are not a vampire, who or what are you? Dr. Edgar Swansea of the Brotherhood of St. Paul. I am performing an independent investigation here in an attempt to understand precisely what is going on. A vampire is at work here. Famished. Reckless. It must be brought to ground, and quickly. Yeah, those damn dirty vampires, of which I am not. Well, oh, they make me sick. I heard another voice, that of a woman. Who were you talking to? Ridiculous. I have no idea what you're talking about. Something tells me not to trust you. Then the feeling is mutual. I followed a trail. The scent of blood from a recent victim. It led me here. You thought I was your aggressor. That explains a great deal. We are both chasing the same shadow. You should let me handle this affair. You've no idea what you're up against. No. I will find the monster. He is mine. What are your intentions if you find the killer? I don't know. <laughs> I want answers, I guess. I will at last have the answers to my questions. Hmm. Then I can only wish you good hunting. And pray we shall meet again. Okay. Is that it? You're not going to tell me anything now, more? <laughs> I'm, I'm so in the dark. I just... I, I don't know anything. I'm just going to take your shillings and bid you farewell. Good day, sir. You lose. May I disturb you again? And you're still ugly as sin. <laughs> Whoa, sir. That is uncalled for. Christ. I bet you know a thing or two, don't you, love? Evening, sir. Yeah, tell me. Tell me the truth. I spoke to Dr. Swansea. He's not the man I'm looking for. It's Will. William Bishop. He came in here earlier tonight and he... Well, I thought he was going to clock someone. But my God, his, his, his eyes. His face. He must have caught something awful. He shouted and, and cried. It was terrible. As a vampire, you can force a citizen to reveal information thanks to a hint you have discovered. Ooh. Tell me about William! Tom, talk to me about the visit from your old friend, William. Yes, Will came by tonight, but he's not my friend anymore. Do you know where he is? You could try his boat. It's up by the North Pier. He sleeps there when he's too drunk to get home. Please describe him to me. What'd you expect? He's a tall, sick bastard with a bad rash and torn old clothes. Inspect the boots. I can do that. Show me the butts. There they are. There's. Are yep. They're nice butts. We shall find out what this is about on one of the boots. Hello, you. The body is still warm. This man has just been drained of blood. This man was armed. He tried to defend himself. But that didn't help. What's this? Some sort of note. Prewin orders. Multiple deaths in the dock region. We believe a nasty leech is involved. Locate the beast. Purge it. And quickly. 
Warning! According to recent reports, this vampire is very violent. Approach with extreme caution. I know we lack men in this part of town, but don't send rookies to investigate the case. If I'm correct, we've got a frenzied one killing each night. As always, search abandoned places first. Old houses, basements, sewers, or warehouses. Destroy the leech, brothers. These men... They're a company of professional vampire hunters. Hmm, that's not good for me. This corpse has been dried of its blood, just like the previous victim. Yummy. There are blood splats on the other side of the canal. I must reach that barge. Good thing I can teleport. <laughs> hey, yeah. Sweet, being a vampire is amazing. Has so many perks. I mean, I can't go in sunlight, but... I can teleport. Who needs sunlight? <laughs> Am I right? Opportunity. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that does not do any damage. Ah. Okay. Yeah, the bite does no damage at all. It's literally just for getting blood. Range weapons. Oh, I just picked up bullets. Equip and press Y to use your range weapon. Ammunition crate. Good. I may need a lot of bullets. I feel like I'm back on the front line again. That's a good point. I should probably equip the gun. Ah. Ah ha ha. Now I can toggle. Nice. Okay, I don't want to... Shall I shoot this guy? Um, I won't bother, I'll just... Hardouken! <laughs> Yummy! Mm. Dude. Okay. Can I actually sneak up on this guy? Excuse me, sir. You're going to die now! Yes! <laughs> oh, it's a strong one. It's a big boy. No. Oh, God. Oh god. Ooh -hee. Ha -ha -hee. Yeah, it's really like Bloodborne. This is the Bloodborne of vampire games. Ah. Christ! Oh Christ, he killed me, mate! I'm gonna suck you dry. Thank you and good night. Mm. That's a point. I keep forgetting to use my spear. My amazing blood spear. Christ, how can I forget that? Alright, so I can go down. Or I can go up. They're teaching. God, the camera keeps on recentering. So they're trying to teach me that I can go up and down. There's multiple routes. Oh, I like it. <laughs> Alright. Alright, you are not very high level. Uh, I, uh, I was going to use the spear, but... Alright. Whoa, yeah, it does two at once. Okay. Okay. That makes it a good weapon. Are you dead? No. But you're going to be dead. <laughs> Die. Hey, buddy. Delectable. <laughs> Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. Smells lovely. I just want to suckle on the blood. As one, we shall overcome this. We've done it before. He's Irish. Scythe. Whoa. This place reeks of bloodshed. This looks nice. And you're my last and dearest friend. This creature is bedeviled. Hello. I must put it down. Oh god, it's a boss fight. Uh, have a spear. Have a. Oh god. No. Have a mm, stake to the face. Ah, my stamina bar. It betrayed me. All right, 
Can I eat you? You're a vampire, right? Can I eat other vampires? Okay, you're not so tough. Have a spear. Yeah. I do need your blood. Ah, no. Juicy. Have a spear. A duke. Oh, God. Okay. And I'm going to finish you off with a blah. Whoa. Check on the victim. No. I see glowy things and I want them in my life. I don't care about the victim. Jeez. Let him die. Can I eat him? Can I just finish the job? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Mr. Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well, another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am... I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. I must return oh. to my flock. They'll stray without me. Remember, certain skulls are every bit as resistant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by scowl? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized... Wait. You, you are the woman from the bar. Are you... like me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. That is true. Oh, God damn it! Come with me, son. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Okay. Patience, good fellows. I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. This music is strangely upbeat. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. You'd best come as well. The sun is soon to rise and you'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Wait, so... He had a cross. Is he helping vampires? Uh, I don't know. I'm confused. Hello. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could it be some subspecies of vampire I must find a place to analyze the blood yeah Ugh. wow he's been busy we're on our way to the Pembroke hospital it's just across the canal and the woman what who is she what woman no oh, don't play me for a fool you use me to locate that skull you must know who she is and I thought you were gentlemen you shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back but I will tell you, she values her privacy. I am the administrator of Pembroke Hospital. I thought you were here in service of your mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stole, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Reed. How, how do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. You are correct, sir. I mean, I'm awesome. England's most esteemed blood specialist returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. As a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. This is sudden. I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... affliction. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. I even had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? Hell yeah! Sounds good to me. It seems I have little choice, but yours is a generous offer, so I thank you. Brilliant! Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book, and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. 
Yeah, don't touch me. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, I find a... Oh, good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. If you have any questions, just ask her. Do you okay. Need... Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. You're coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Right. Cool. Take me to hospital. So, that was a rather long intro. Wow. But, thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next episode of Vampire. This is really interesting so far. I like the the style of it. It's pretty cool, the aesthetic. The combat reminds me a lot of like Bloodborne or Dark Souls, sort of. Not quite as tough, but it's got the same sort of flow. And, yeah, I like these kind of branching... Well, there hasn't been any branches so far, but I'm sure there will be. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.